Hi everybody, today I'm going to teach you about copy constructors in C++. In C++, there's a potential problem that can arise when you copy data from one object to another and the data member happens to be a pointer. By default, the copy copies items member by member and because the pointer is an address, the address is copied to the new object. So what we do is we create a copy constructor that we can copy not only the pointer, but the object the pointer points to. So let's first illustrate what happens when you do not have a copy constructor. So I'm going to make a struct and call it pair. And this struct is going to have two pointer values. One is going to be something called a key and the other one is going to be called a value. So I'm gonna make public and I'm gonna create an int pointer called key. And then I'm going to make another int pointer called value. And let's make our constructor. So this will be pair, say int key and int value. And we're going to reference our int pointer, our key pointer. So this arrow key equals new int and this arrow value equals new int. And now we're going to set our key and values to the key and value that we passed in. Dereference and we'll do this key equals key and our dereferencing for this value equals value. Now you do not need to have your parameters being the same name key and value. You can make this key one and value one and then you don't need to worry about using this. And I'm going to put a semicolon. So let's look at what happens when we do not have a copy constructor. So I'm going to make we'll call I'm going to make a new pair and we'll call this pair one and his key is going to be one and his value is going to be five. And then I'm going to make a, another pair and call this pair, pair two, that equals pair one. And what I want to do is I want to update pair two's key to now be five. So I dereference pair two's key and set it equal to five. And now let's look at pair one, pair two's key and values. So I'm going to do C out. This will be pair one. And its key will be dereferencing pair one dot key. We'll put a space. Dereference pair one dot value. And line. I'm going to copy this for pair two. Let's run this code. So I'm going to run. And our pair one key has also been updated to five. And why is that? Well, that's because the address was copied. So if we actually look at pair one's key and pair two's key and value to see their addresses, you'll see that they are the same. So they are the same address. So what we need to do when we want to copy and not have the addresses copy so we get brand new pointers, we need to create something called a copy constructor. So we're going to make a copy constructor. So pair, and this will take in a constant to pair key. So this is a reference to, so the address of key. So what we do here is we're going to access our key and value. So we'll say key equals a new, a new int with the value of the pair that we passed in key. 
And now this will dynamically allocate memory to hold the value key. Do the same for value here. It's new int the value of key dot value. So now if we run this code, it will work as we intended. So let's run our build task. And you see here that only the second pair's key got changed to five and their addresses are different from each other. So now you've learned how to work with copy constructors.